Hi, it's Ms. Sherbin, and we're going over today's worksheet um, that is asking you to graph and predict different effects of potential energy on this particular setup. So you should have your name, base group date, lab already written down. Okay, so this one is called bowling ball and soccer ball graph one. Imagine you're at the park. You have a bowling ball, a soccer ball, and an empty trash can and a slide. You want to see how far the bowling ball will push the trash can when it is released from different points of the slide. Below is a table of what you found. So basically, they're telling you here, you have a slide, you have this little can, and that's a horrible can. You're going to push a ball down. And when they're talking about different release points, oh, it went away. When they're talking about different release points, right, what they're talking about is different points on the slide, like over here. Okay, so we have the release points IV, and you should be marking up just like I am, DV for trash can. Okay. And we can see here with the same um, distance trash can travel, that's our DV. Release point, that's our IV. Okay. Construct a line graph on the grid below. Use an X to plot the distance the bowling ball traveled at different distances. Use the information shown in the data table. Connect the X's with a line. All right, so it's really important that you use an X instead of a dot because that way we can see it. We do not start at zero, zero at the origin like we do in math because um, we start with a release point at 10 meters. So I'm going to find my release point, 10. I recommend underlining release points. You'll see why later. 10 to 8, so that's just a little bit below. Check, did that. 15. And then 9.5 is going to be a little bit below 10. I know you can't see much of a difference because um, the screen tool I'm using, but yours would probably be, this will probably be a little lower since this is 8 and this is 9.5. 20 and 14.5. So 20 and just below 15. Check. 25 and 20.5, so 25, 20.5, just above that 20 line, and then 30, and 29.5, oops, that little dot was a mistake. Okay, so now I'm going to connect them with a line, do that in a different color. There we go. Okay, so that is my graph for right now. I just took a picture of that so I can have that later. Okay, so now we are continuing to number two. Now predict how the soccer ball will be different than the bowling ball. If you use a soccer ball, Will the trash can travel as far as it did with the bowling ball? Hint. I mean, why? Hint. They have the same volume shape, but different amounts of mass. So, you all probably um, correctly guessed that a soccer ball would not push a trash can as far. And that's only part of it. So, you can write, the soccer ball will not travel as far because it has less mass. Very important. Not less weight and therefore less kinetic energy. The three most important points here are that you tell me what your prediction was, you tell me what that has to do with its mass, and you tell me how that affects its kinetic energy. The three things. Okay. On the same graph, use an X to plot the distance a soccer ball will 
would travel at the same release points. Connect those points using a dotted line. Okay, so here we go. So the, remember I told you to underline these release points as you went along? Well, the reason why we did that was to help us out with our um, soccer ball. Since we guessed that the soccer ball would be travel less distance, it wouldn't make sense for the line to be above or the same. So we're going to draw our line below. So it has to be on the same release point, so at 10, so I'm just going to draw one, an X below the 10. Same release point, so it's the same X values, okay? And the line's going to follow this um, bowling ball line, but it's just going to be a little bit below, or a lot below, depending on what you predict. So, I'm going to connect my line. There we go. Okay. So we did that. Oh, no, we didn't do that. We did number three. Now, label each line as bowling ball and soccer ball. Okay, so since I'm using this horrible uh, freehand tool um, on my computer, I'm going to initial it. You may not do that. You have to write it all out. So you'd write bowling ball above here. If I'm going to write BB for bowling ball, please write bowling ball out completely. You will not get credit for abbreviations. Here I'm going to write for this a soccer ball. It's initials for soccer ball. SB. All right. Predict the distance the bowling ball would travel as released from 35.0 meters. So here we go. So I'm going to predict. Do not actually write on the test like what I'm going to show you here. But I'm going to show you how you make that prediction, okay? I'm going to use a different color, okay, to show you. So I would make a prediction. I would try to like follow this line up until it reached 35. So I would see like 35. And it goes right around here which is about 35 here. So everything I drew in yellow, you do not draw on your paper. But if you notice here at 35, I can see that this line, the bowling ball, would probably have increased to about 35 meters. So I'm going to write here, 3, 35, point zero. Now I'm making my prediction. Okay, predict the distance the bowling ball would travel release from 22.5 meters. So, half, so if we're going up by fives as our interval, this is 22.5 down here. And this time I'm using um, this neon green. What you're going to do is you're going to follow it up. Again, do not write what I'm writing on here, but you're going to follow it up to this point. Okay. And to me, on my graph, that looks about approximately 17.5. Your graph might look a little different. That's fine, as long as it's on your graph. Whatever your graph tells you is correct. It, everybody's graph might be a little different, especially if you were to actually push the bowling ball down the ramp yourself. All right, and then check your work using this table. This is really important. Did you use an X when you plotted your graph? Yes. Again, don't use the dots like you use in math. Connect the X's with a solid line for the bowling ball line. Yes. Correctly predict that the soccer ball would not push the trash can as far as the bowling ball. Yes. Explain why the mass of your soccer ball decreased the distance the trash can count. Yes. So we talked about how since there's less mass, there's less kinetic energy, which is Ke. Use an X for the soccer ball line. Yes, we did that. Plot the X's with the same release points. Yes, we did that. That's my little trick down there to help you. Connect the soccer ball with the dotted line. Ooh, no, we did not do that. Um, was the soccer ball line lower than the bowling ball line? Yes. Did you label your lines? Yes. 
Did you go back and fix anything we missed? No, we didn't fix the little dotted line. So dot, 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 dot. Good. I just fixed it. So yes, I went back and I finished. I fixed that and I crossed it out. I did that as a yes. All right, so do the next one on your own and we will check it.